them. <laughs> is that just another it's scion? It's the jungle. <laughs> oh. It's not the Garen, but it's the scion. Another scion mid coming in from insanity. He did not hesitate and made huge on the payoff. Absolutely, and his champion pool, both last split and this split, has actually really been a big talking point. Last split, he was playing mid lane graves and all this kind of stuff. This split, as whoa, oh, we just. We had it all in on the bottom side of the map. I don't know what happened. It was a crash from the side of energy, but the dive was completely outplayed by Zazel and B-Boy. Yeah, we're gonna have to see that one more time. This live. Uh, they're just looking for the straight up dive onto B-Boy, but this is a really risky dive, trying to dive through the Nautilus. Nautilus got level two there. So I think they maybe weren't expecting him to get level two that early, but he gets level two, blocks that completely up. B-Boy survives as well. That's a disaster for energy. Staying around with this squad, uh, even when TSM sold. <laughs> Meanwhile, it looks like Karnchex was trying to start up Grubs, but Boogie is able to yoink one over with the smite. It's a constant 2v2 is still out on the prowl. Dredge line connects onto Huhi. Ignite connects as well. A lot of damage. One more auto attack and the piercing arrow from B-Boy gets the kill down in his bot lane. Nicely done. I mean, energy kind of playing with fire. They got a decent initial trade, but that wave is so winning. He doesn't need to be the hero in this game. Yep, and Samny just needs to be an immovable object for FBI and Kubi yeah. to get too close. I mean, there's no way you can go back in because Zazel and B-Boy still have their ult. So they're going to start with the ult and look for the follow-up. Yeah, Flash ulti and Boogie is here as well to connect. FBI's got nowhere to run and the Unraveled Earth. Because then it's guaranteed. He threw it out at that same time. Contracts now may be in trouble though. Yeah, he's got the paranoia and the flash. Palfox turns out the lights as well with contracts as they try to turn it on to Insanity, but he's so tanky. It's gonna be so hard to actually take him down. Dokla comes as well before Insanity forces the flash away, but Contracts gets burned down by Fake God. And now he's in the 1v2. He needs help from Boogie, who's come back from the base. Dokla finds the angle and Insanity is able to pull up over the wall, but a Raveled Earth and Seismic Shove catches Palfox. One more auto attack should do the trick. It's the flash and another rock that 20 plus CS in his advantage. They got the first dragon. They're getting triple grubs. There will be some place traded back on bot yeah, side. You split time with Alorum back in the day yeah. too. And so, you know, he, he kind of came up, you know, did not actually last in the LCS very long as Sarah looked for a dive. He's super tanky, but they're investing almost every single ultimate they have at their disposal. The Nada. Yeah, I mean, Fickout's even pushing up top, but um, to, to, to finish that, oh, Contract's misclick there. If you've been in competitive for a while, you still really can improve if given the chance. Let's see if Sophify Rebellion can secure this dragon. Paranoia from Contracts turns out the lights. Arrow from onto Boogie as they just nail him in the bud. As they're able to deliver enough burst damage there. Palfox already with the engage, but they are forced to retreat as Fake God is doing an incredible amount of work alongside the rest of his backline to just keep energy at a distance. Dokla is forced to be the sacrificial lamb for energy as Palafox is forced to flash away. Despite taking out Boogie, Shopify Rebellion still win the fight. Yeah, they get that initial kill. The dragon for Shopify, it's a 4K lead here. And this one, I think, is already getting close to being out of reach for NRG, so it would be another top team following to Shopify. Looking to march down mid lane. Sion gonna load on up. Nocturnal gets popped, but they should be able to just back this one off. I don't think it's gonna accomplish anything. Yeah, I mean, Dokla teleports in, but they're even... fine. So you basically know they can't engage until he has ulti again. And Nocturne ult is really long. It's just his ulti. And I guess Dokla popped Ghost as he was looking for some sort of an angle. But you get the flash for that. That could be trouble for Zazel as well. Yeah, maybe on Zazel is just a support. He's not as tanky as the rest of his brothers. And Dokla goes all out and takes him. It's a five on four now for energy. But they whittle down Dokla and take him out. B-Boy, no flash. Contrast commits his own to take, take him out. out. Palfox looking over the wall. But Boogie's able to distance himself away with his own flash. Meanwhile, Fake God is burning down FBI. The hops give a jump. It doesn't matter because he still burst down to a crisp. And now it's Palfox on the run. Completely pinned by three. Boogie on Raveled Earth and Seismic Shove finds him as he gets stunned up in insanity. One more decimating smash to do the trick as he looks to cut his head off and he goes down. Yeah, he's gonna be able to Just not cutting him. through him. Contracts flashes in, does get that initial kill. They try to finish off Boogie. Dragon not spawning anytime soon, but they have full possession of this map. They're gonna take their moment to at least just force Shopify to come to them. This could get dicey for yeah. energy. Look at Palafox. He's trying to find some sort of an angle, but the carries really aren't over there. We'll see if they can find it. He's very far. Yeah, Fates call from FBI. Saves Huki for now. Zazel is the one caught up. Paranoia from Contracts as he sails on in. Four on five right now. Favored for energy. Palfox. But Insanity and Fake God are doing great work on the front line. Palafox finds the angle. Pop blocks over the wall. But will be enough. B-Boy's still alive. Boogie is able to flash away. Dokla goes all out. Finds the jungler. The rest of energy now have to kite them out. B-Boy's still alive. 
and can deal damage, but he has to play through Fake God, and he needs to make sure that Fake God gets out alive so that they do not fork a dragon. It's so bittersweet because that look from Palafox looks so good, but B-Boy being able to position away from that threat, keeping himself alive. Worker and Shield for Scion is now uh, almost 800. Uh-oh, Palafox, what you doing? Boogie finds him and then looks for the collapse. Already using the stasis from that Zonia's, and now Palafox is in a world of trouble. Contract tries to turn off the lights to buy some time as they look for the collapse on Insanity and Zazel, but these are two meat walls again. And Dokla tries to go all out on Insanity, but now he's just trying to kite away. Interrupts the ultimate from Insanity because he knew that Insanity was looking at the rest of energy. And well, the rest of the team does slowly chop down this Baron. They have everything they really need from this point. They're going to be able to use games between first and last, really. Uh, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. Obviously, we'll have one more game tomorrow, so maybe the standings could spread oh, there's, out. There's no easy team. Like, when we're talking about strength of schedule, there's no free wins. Yep. And with that, this might be the last paranoia we see in the game. Contracts, one last Hail Mary into the back line. Gets absolutely nothing as Boogie just pops the stasis as well. Thank God, just doing a number on the back line as he's just burning everyone down on this Udyr. Shopify Rebellion have to deal with Palafox, but they blow him up before he even gets to pop his pop blossom. FBI, last member standing, instantly gets deleted. And Shopify Rebellion, a dominant win, takes out energy. What a stomp by Shopify, 12,000 gold. 30 minutes, Soul Baron, everything going their way. Obliterated <laughs> energy. Zazel flashing in, have a little bit of fun with it. SD and Hib. Uh, they're even taking down the mid lane and Hib there. Patting the stats a bit, having some fun with it, getting their second win.